How are you today, boys and girls? Thank you so much for being here at Crafting with Grammy. I'm so happy you are. I'm anxious for spring to get here, aren't you? I'm just hanging out in my garden here with my good friend, Mr. Caterpillar. How do you like my new springtime hat? Pretty awesome, huh? For today's craft, we're gonna be making these really cool sock caterpillars. So let's take a look and see what we'll need in order to make them. First, you're gonna need a sock. Now, Grammy has these crazy striped and polka dot socks that I've had for a long time, so that's what I'm using. You just wanna make sure that you have a long sock. You're gonna be needing a pair of scissors. You're gonna be needing some pipe cleaners. Now, you can use multiple colors if you want. You're just gonna need a total of four because we have to make his cute little antennas. You're gonna be needing some string. I'm using black string today, but any color string will do just fine. You're gonna be needing some googly eyes. He's gotta be able to see. So I'm gonna be using two large googly eyes today. But if you don't have googly eyes at home, no problem. Just get out some construction paper or maybe some felt or fabric or fun foam even would be terrific and make your own. And that would be just awesome. You're gonna need a little piece of felt or fun foam in pink to make his cute little tongue. You're gonna be needing some fiber fill to stuff Mr. Caterpillar. And one last item, you're gonna be needing your hot glue gun. And as always, as Grammy tells you, if you don't have a low temp glue gun, please get help for this. And that's it. So let's make our cute little caterpillars. All right, Grammy zoomed in really well so that you can see exactly what we're doing. So first I want you to take that sock that you found and I want you to roll it down, roll it all the way down past the heel of the sock and about halfway between the heel and the toe. And this is just gonna make it a lot easier to fill because we're gonna be using quite a bit of fiber fill to fill our caterpillar. So it should look just about like that. All right, and that'll give you easy access to the toe. So this is gonna be the caterpillar's head. So you wanna make sure and fill it all the way down to the very tip, and we're gonna put quite a bit of fiber fill in there. So Grammy will get started doing hers. And you wanna push it all the way to the end until you have a nice circle, just like that. So keep on going, fill the sock all the way to the very end, and I'll meet you right back here. All right, so hopefully everybody has their, their Mr. Caterpillar filled by now. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie off the end where you put the fiber fill in all the way to the very top of the sock where it would go around your calf. We're gonna go ahead and tie that off so that all of that stuffing doesn't have a place to escape from. So I want you to take out your string and your scissors and we're just gonna cut a length of string out. And again, it doesn't need to be too, too long. We don't wanna be too wasteful. And we're just gonna tie that off. And you wanna get it as close to that edge as you can, all right? So that we have more room for the caterpillar's body. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie mine off and it'll look just like that when you're finished. Okay, see how I've done that? And you're gonna wanna tie that really super tight. So pull with all your muscles that you can because we don't want that fiber fill to have a place to escape from. And then once you've tied that off, we can go ahead and cut off that extra string because we're not gonna need that anymore. Just making sure that we don't cut too close so that we cut the sock, okay? Perfect, all right, so let's move on to the front of our caterpillar. We're gonna be working on his head now. So the head is going to be the toe of the sock. So you wanna decide just how big the head of, his, of Mr. Caterpillar is gonna be. And I've decided mine is gonna be about, hmm, about right there. Okay, so again, cut another length of string. Again, I'm using black string, but any color string that you're using will be just perfect. All right, and just lay your string down on the table and decide how big of a head you wanna make for him, making sure that the toe of the sock is facing up, especially if you have a pattern like I do, because you want it to show really well on the caterpillar. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay mine flat and I'm gonna go ahead and tie that off. And you've gotta pull really tight because you've got a lot of fiber fill in there. Super tight, and I'm gonna make one more knot. 
great. So it'll look like that, okay? And that's gonna be Mr. Caterpillar's head. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those extra strings off that I cut because I'm not gonna need them anymore, okay? Perfect. Now, we're just going to go down the caterpillar doing the exact same thing. And you can make as many little circles or divisions as you want. It's entirely up to you. So I'll go ahead and do the next one. You get another length of string. And I think I'm going to make that about, oh, about that big. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that one off. And again, pull super tight. And then tie another knot. Fabulous. All right. And then go ahead and cut off the excess string. So we're going to do that all the way down our sock and I'll meet you back here. All right. So now that you're finished breaking your Mr. Caterpillar down into sections, it should look something like that. I don't know how many sections you decided to go with, but Grammy's got one, two, three, four, five, six, plus his head. So I guess it will depend upon how long your sock was. Whatever decision you made was just perfect. All right, so let's move on. I'm gonna go ahead and set him aside and we're gonna get out those pipe cleaners that I asked you to have. Now, I just thought it'd be fun to do totally different colors than my socks. So today I'm gonna to be using purple and black. So I'd like you to get those out. And if you're using two separate colors, great. Two of the same color, perfect too. But we're gonna wanna twist these to give them some added strength. So starting at the very tip of them, let's give it a really good twist, just like that, all right, to keep them all together. And then just slowly twist them around. And that way, it's just gonna give them a little bit more strength when we go to curl them up to make his cute little antenna. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those going. And I'll get both of them completely wrapped here. All right, so now that we have our pipe cleaners all wrapped, I'd like to connect those two. So we're gonna go ahead and grab them and give them a good twist with about, oh, maybe an inch on either side just to make it reinforced even more. So just like that, so that we make one continual super strong pipe cleaner for his antennas, okay? So that won't come apart. I've twisted it pretty tight. All right, so lay that down on your table. Mine's a little wonky here, but that's okay. All right, then get out your Mr. Caterpillar. And in the section right behind his head here, that's where we're gonna lay that down, right on top of those pipe cleaners, making sure that we're even on both sides. You wanna get it right in the center and then bring that on both sides, bring those pipe cleaners up just like that and then give them a good twist and keep on twisting till you know that you've got them in there pretty doggone tight. There we go. So they'll stand straight up like that. All right, all right. Now we're gonna go ahead and start folding these or bending these into a circle to make his little antennas just like that. Now you can make his antennas so you're gonna curl it just like that. You can make his antennas as long or as tall as you want or as short as you want or super curly or super straight. It's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started doing my next one here. And I think I'm gonna give him a pretty good curl here and bring that down so that it matches the other one. Yours don't have to match. I just happen to like mine to match. And I think that one needs to come down just a little bit more. Perfect. All right. And there's his cute little antennas. Isn't that neat? So now we've got to give him some eyes. So you want? I want you to get out those two googly eyes that I asked you to have. And again, if you didn't have googly eyes at home, you can certainly make your own. That would be terrific. And then I like you to set the caterpillar with his head facing you. So you're going to set it just like that so that you can center his eyes really well. I'm going to do it backwards so that you can see exactly what I'm doing, okay? So making sure that I've got a pretty good grip on it and I know exactly where the center of his antennas are, I want to decide where I'm gonna put his eyes. And I think so that they're centered well, I'm gonna put them right there. So you're gonna be getting out that hot glue gun. Now remember, 
If you don't have a low temp glue gun, make sure you get some help for this, okay? So I'm gonna grab one of my googly eyes. Again, you'll be doing it with the head facing you. I'm gonna do it backwards and hopefully I'll get it on straight here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set one eye right there, just like that. All right, and a good rule of thumb is if you line it up with where the toe mark is, that's a good place to put it, okay? So let me go ahead and grab the other eye and I'll get that one on too. You're gonna have to name your caterpillar. I just call mine Mr. Caterpillar. All right, and there's the other eye. And I think I've got those centered pretty well. And I'm gonna give it a good push and let those cool down for just a little bit from that hot glue. He needs a mouth. So what I'd like you to do is get out a piece of that string that you had that we tied his body with. Mine's black, so I'm gonna be using black, but whatever color string that you have is perfectly great. All right, and I want you to just cut off just a little piece of that, and we're just gonna make a little smile with it. So really carefully, just put a little dab of glue on one end of it and we're gonna place it down and I'm gonna pull this over so I can get it lined up right and I'm gonna put his mouth starting right there all right and you can make his mouth as big or as little as you want it's entirely up to you that's the great part about being a crafter or an artist it's your call all right, I think I've got my, my little piece of string that I cut, I think I've got it a little bit too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the excess. And it's just a little piece there. Perfect, all right. Now taking my hot glue gun again, I'm gonna put just a little dab of glue on the other end of that string, making sure that you're not touching it if you don't have a low temp and line it up where the other side is. And I think mine's gonna be about right there. And just go ahead and set it into place. All right, and there's his cute little mouth. Isn't that great? All right, now he needs a little tongue, doesn't he? So get out that little scrap of pink, either foam, felt, fabric, construction paper, whatever you found that's gonna be terrific. And I'd like you to cut out just a little half circle with that. All right, so I'll go ahead and get started with mine. And if it's easier for you to cut a whole circle out and then cut it in half, that's terrific too, whatever is easy for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut mine out. And you know what, mine's shaped more like an oblong shape. And that's okay too. I guess he's gonna have a, a long tongue. All right. So there's mine. That's what mine looks like. I got a piece of glue hanging from it. There we go. All right. So just put a little dab of glue on the very tip of it. And it doesn't take much. All right. And we're gonna line it up with his mouth. And we're gonna put it right along the edge of that string. Pushing that string up just a little bit. Perfect. So just like that, okay? That's terrific. Now, I'm going to go ahead and glue the top of that string right over that, just so that it holds really well. So I'm going to grab a little bit of glue here. Make sure that it's glued on nice and snug. Push it down on top of that tongue, and that's it. You've made your really cool Mr. Caterpillar. I can almost see him inching along, can't you? As always, Thank you so much for being here and crafting with me today. I hope that you had as much fun as I did making our really super cute caterpillars. I'm so happy because now Caterpillar One has got a buddy to hang out with. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and press the subscribe button below. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.